Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a short video over a little detail that I came across when I was working on the uh, Toyota LS swap. It had to do with the air conditioning hoses. If you looked at the general walk around uh, we did recently of the swap as it is so far, it's not quite done, but it's, it's nearly there. Uh, I mentioned to you that early on that the air conditioning hoses were there connected there at the evaporator core at the firewall that we're using the factory lines. Well, the factory, in all their infinite wisdom, when they connect those lines, they use a clamp, looks like this, two different sizes, to go over that fitting to hold it into place. And I just snapped that one. Uh, one thing you need to be very careful of, if, if you're starting the swap, anticipating the swap, and you know you're going to be breaking into your lines. Two things you need to do or consider. Buy new fittings. These things are plastic clamps. Again, they look like this. Now, I don't know why, but if you start researching, if you need to research your specific model, because apparently these are different clamps for different models and years. Why there's a variation, who knows? you would think they could have some consistency throughout. And maybe they do, but due to the application at the time, they had a part number for it. Uh, there is a tool you can use that, uh, there's this two tabs. Let's see if you can get in there close enough. There's just these two tabs. So as they snap in, the way that you would release them would be to come in from this side and just gently pry up and then open up. Well, it sounds easy enough, but, you know, after they've been on there for years, they end up looking like that when you get them off. Or that. I mean, I, I, mess, I messed them both up a little bit. They both still snap. But I think they're compromised as far as the job they were able to do before and now. So we bought new ones. These are new from Toyota. As I mentioned, there's two different sizes, smaller and larger. Uh, I got a, unless I got them mixed up here. This is the part number for the smaller. And this is the part number for the larger. Same part number except one, one ends in 8-0 and the other is 9-0. At least for a Tacoma second gen, this is, this is what's recommended. Uh, they're not expensive. They're about 12 bucks a piece or so from the Toyota. The problem is availability. Um, we got these two recently uh, from the owner of the truck who knew someone and apparently they searched all over and were able to get these two from somewhere, but it was not an easy find. So my point to that is if you feel like you're going to be doing a project on your truck or you're going to be breaking into the lines, opening up these clamps and uh, if you can get them back and tacked and make them work, that's great. Uh, but, it, but at 12 bucks, I'd say, you know, go, go invest in a couple of new ones, have them ready, so that when you do go to put your system back together, that you don't spend $100, $200, whatever it takes to get your system evacuated, recharged, and all that, only to find out there's a problem with the coupling, and now you've got to go and take it apart. So a little cheap insurance, just one of those things, you know, you don't really think about until you get there. And then when you get there, you may find that you're ready to proceed with your project, but now it's held up because you've got a $12 part that's on nationwide back order. So these are probably made in aftermarket, I would imagine. I mean, it's a Toyota part, it's plastic, it's cheap. Um, I, I'm sure there's somebody out there that makes it in aftermarket. So maybe you can find them uh, a little easier. Um, there are some parts that are often better to be factory, some it doesn't matter. Uh, because we could get these in Toyota. That's what we chose to do. Anyway, in the future, if you're going to pull your lines apart, check into getting these first. Make sure you can get a hold of them. Uh, as far as separating the little bracket, uh, you can use a small flat blade screwdriver. It'll take two of them. And it's kind of awkward to push them in there together and push and pull it off. They actually make a tool made for opening these up. And you can find that on Amazon. Uh, just, just check out uh, Toyota AC line clamp 
release tool. I believe that's what it's called. And uh, they range from, you know, $12 to $30. But might be good to have one in stock if you're going to be working on this at all and, uh, and have a few of these around so it doesn't hold your project up. All right, that was my tip for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.